The next question from Marine from Kashmir, India. Can women read the Quran during menses? There's a difference of opinion whether the women can read the Quran during menses. Unanimously, all the fuqahas, all the scholars agree that the woman during menses cannot touch the musaf of the Quran, cannot touch the copy of the Quran. This is unanimously agreed upon. All the scholars also unanimously agree that women during the menstrual period, they can recite dua, and if that dua contains a few words of the Quran or a small section of the Quran like Bismillah or Allah, it is permissible. There is no difference of opinion in this. The difference of opinion is in that can the woman recite the Quran during menstruation? Most of the fuqahat, most of the scholars, they say that women cannot read the Quran during menstruation. And the reason is based on menstruation is like janaba, like major ceremonial impurity. Major ceremonial impurity means after a sexual intercourse or after nightfall or where there's emission after the sexual intercourse, it's called as janaba. So these scholars say that menstruation is like janaba. And they quote a hadith of Ibn Abbas, May Allah be pleased with him, that the Prophet said that during menstruation, the woman, and during janaba, both men and women, they should not recite the Quran. Now this hadith, according to most of the muhaddithin, it is a daif hadith. So this hadith in which the Prophet said that the woman during menstruation and during janaba, male and female both, they should not recite the Quran, is a daif hadith. So you cannot base your fatwa on this. So based on this, according to the Maliki school of thought, the women are permitted to recite the Quran during the menstruation. Especially if they are doing gifts of the Quran, if they are students, and imagine the menstruation can last for four days, five days, seven days, two weeks, for longer period. And imagine you are away from the Quran. Even one view of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal is that a woman can read during menstruation the glorious Quran. And Sheikh ibn Taymiyyah, he believes in this view of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal that a woman during menstruation can recite the Quran. And even Sheikh Shaukani, he agrees that a woman can recite the Quran during menstruation. But natural, here the woman can only recite what they know from memory because they cannot touch the Quran. But now, Alhamdulillah, if they have to touch, they can touch with gloves or they can have some wood or a box in between, etc. But Alhamdulillah, lately since the last several years, we have got Quran on a digital platform. And all of them agree that if you read the Quran from a mobile or from an iPad or on the computer, a woman in menstruation can read from a mobile the Quran, can touch the mobile, can touch the iPad, can touch the tablet, can touch the computer. This ruling that women touching the Musaf is not applicable here because it's a digital format. So even though all the scholars agree that women cannot touch the Quran during menstruation, but according to Imam Malik and one view of Imam Ibn Nambal and Imam Ibn Taymiyyah and Shaukani and some others, their view is that women can read the Quran during menstruation, but she should not touch it. But naturally, if she has a mobile or a tablet, there's no problem. From that, she can read, she can recite. And I also agree with this view of Imam Malik and Imam Ibn Taymiyyah as well as Imam Shaukani, that women during menstruation can read the Quran, but they should not touch the Quran. And best now is to read from the mobile or from an app application or a tablet. And inshallah, so that during these few days, whether it be four days, five days, 10 days, 15 days, they can be in touch with the Quran. And but naturally, they can also read the translation of the Quran. They can read the other aspects, the fasting, etc. Hope that answers the question.